Today I'm going to show you how to make this pocket shaped flatbread. Pizza bread is a round leaven flatbread that is common in Mediterranean and Middle Eastern cuisine. It's often used to scoop up dips like hummus or baba ganoush, grilled meat, vegetables and sauces to make sandwiches or wraps. Pizza bread is versatile, convenient and a staple in many cuisines around the world. Right, so the first step for our pizza bread is to bloom the yeast. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in some brown sugar, break that up and stir. You want to stir that until it's dissolved. While it's stirring, I'm adding in some olive oil. I'm using warm water, this will help bloom the yeast a little faster. So keep stirring until the sugar is dissolved. And about halfway through, then you can add your instant yeast. And don't get too worried if some of the yeast start to clump up. You can just use your fork to break it up. And I mean, really, and truly, it's not a big deal if some remains clumped up. All right, so I'm just stirring until everything is fully incorporated and our sugar is dissolved. Cover it. And we're going to leave it to bloom anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So now that our yeast has bloomed, now we're going to knead our pizza dough. So let me just pull the bloom to the side. I'm just adding in some salt to our sifted all-purpose flour. Just gonna mix that up. Just bring this to the center and make a well in the middle. Our yeast mixture. And I'm just taking my finger here and just in starting to incorporate the flour. I'm almost using my finger like a dough hook in a mixer. Your dough is going to look a little sticky, but that's all right. Let this dough sit and do its thing for 20 minutes. What will happen is because the because flour is a starch, it's going to sit and continue to absorb the water or the water mixture. And also by letting it rest, it will allow the protein trans within the flour to get a chance to also absorb the moisture bind to each other, build strength. So right now, like if I pull on this, see how fast it will rip? You'll see the difference in 20 minutes. All right, so here we are after 20 minutes again. So we have our um, pita bread dough, and here I just have some water. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't really wanna incorporate too much more flour into this, I'm just gonna wet my hands. And remember, just before we left off, I pulled the dough to show you all um, the, the amount of strength it had in it. Let me pull it now to show you the difference. So you see, look at how much more higher I'm able to pull. Try one more time just to show you all. Look at how much more higher I'm able to go before it starts to break. So what we're going to do now, we're going we're gonna to give it some strength. So I'm just bringing it in to the inside. It's going as high as I could before it starts to break. I'm bringing it into the center. High as I could, bringing it into the center. Just wetting my hand in between, as you could, bring it in, bring it in. This will just help to, to strengthen your dough. It's a very high hydration dough. What that means is it has a lot of liquid in it, a lot of moisture. So you need to just, what you need to do is to just introduce time and uh, allow it to rest in between kneading. So as you can see, look at how high I'm able to go. And I'm just wetting my hand, that helps prevent the dough from sticking to my hand. I'm going to let it sit again and let it double in size. Ideally, it should take about an hour or so, and then we'll come back and divide it into our individual pita bread balls. All right, so it's been about an hour. Actually, probably like five minutes under the hour for our pizza pit dough, so just knock it, nothing there, 